when Kendrick Lamar isn't performing to packed arenas worldwide, it's been a while either way since the global pandemic, the rapper has resided in the South Bay region of Los Angeles for a while now. He was a long time renter in the posh seaside hood of Manhattan Beach, and in 2019 he bought his current $9.7 million home there. And this wasn't Kendrick's first time buying Lux real estate. In 2013, he paid just over 523k for an ordinary home about an hour east from LA, and a few years later, he spent over $2.6 million dollars for a guard gated mansion in Calabasas. Today we'll check out a few places Kendrick calls home. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kendrick Lamar is best known as a rapper, songwriter and record producer who's been dubbed one of the most influential artists of his generation since his debut in 2012, Good Kid Mad City. He's also considered one of the best rappers and lyricists of all time. Raised in Compton, California, Lamar formerly went by the stage name K Dot as a teen, and his mixtape led him to signing with indie label Top Dog Entertainment. Later on, after his major label debut album did so well and received critical acclaim, Kendrick's career was on fire. The albums to follow were also successful, with singles topping the Billboard charts, while Kendrick even wrote and produced 14 songs for the film Black Panther, another win for the rapper. Over his career, he's received many awards and accolades, of which include 13 Grammy Awards. When artists were able to tour, Kendrick's International Damn Tour wrapped up with over $62 million in gross receipts just for a taste of his earnings. Currently, he has an estimated net worth of about $75 million, making him one of the most popular and well paid rappers on the planet. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. We're checking out Kendrick Lamar's properties today, including his current Manhattan Beach home and two two of his other real estate properties. We've also found Kendrick's childhood home in Compton, so if you guys are interested in seeing that and some other celebrity childhood house tours, be sure to drop a comment down below. On this channel we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered about the Kid Leroy's new teeth or about Lil Uzi Vert's diamond implant? We recently started a new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. We'll link you one of our latest videos, join us and be sure to subscribe. Being a teen and already having millions to your name, I guess you gotta spend it on something, and it seems one of the first things Leroy wanted to fix was his teeth. As always guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Back in 2014, it was reported that Kendrick bought himself quite the humble abode. Located in Eastvale, a city in Riverside, about an hour from Los Angeles, this home only cost Kendrick $523,000. And since it's surprisingly normal, it might not be what you'd envision the then GQ rapper of the year to purchase. The home Kendrick bought was said to have built in 2006. The two-story residence is on an ungated street just a short walk from the local shopping mall. Inside, the house spans 3500 and 29 square feet of space with three beds, 2.5 baths, and features like a pool and basketball net outside. Reports of his real estate purchase set off a wave of online buzz that the rapper settled into the least likely place for someone with such a high profile career, a former dairy community that only became a city in 2010. Riverside County property records do show the grant listing Kendrick Duckworth Lamar, his real name, as the owner of the modest home near the I-15. And while a few Eastvale residents have tweeted that they'd spot Kendrick cruising around town in a sports car and visiting the city's picnic in the park summer carnival. The rapper claimed he was staying at his current home in Los Angeles, and it was rumored the home was actually a gift for his parents to live in. Compton born and raised Kendrick told Seattle radio station Cube 93 that he wasn't changing his zip code, stating, I stay in LA, but I like to buy property because in the market we're in right now around LA, the values are getting right. While he wasn't renting the home out at the time and didn't confirm who would be living there, it's assumed that Kendrick Kendrick still owns it either way. Back in 2018, it was reported that Kendrick paid $2.65 million for a large family home in the lavish area of Calabasas, but once again, we would learn the home wasn't exactly for him. This gorgeous home is located deep in a guard-gated community known as Calabasas Park Estates, backing onto the mega 106-acre Avalon Ranch. Unless you already live in the enclave or know a resident who lives here, all you'll catch a glimpse of from the street are security guards and tall fences. Since Mr. Lamar 
isn't the one occupying the mansion. It was purchased for his mother, Paula Oliver, his teenage sister, and her two young children, who still call this place home. In addition, there may be some other unidentified Lamar family members here, possibly even his dad. Whatever the case is, there's plenty of room for the family to lounge in this sprawling 5,433 square foot home. Inside, there are six beds, 5.5 baths, as well as features like a three car garage where Kendrick's mom can park her $80,000 Mercedes Benz SUV. It was all a big upgrade for the family since for many years they lived in Section 8 housing, so it's no doubt they're living comfortably now. The home is surrounded by manicured ivy and hedges, while the 1998 build structure has features of your usual late 90s era suburban McMansion. There's a mostly beige color scheme indoors and stuff like a grand staircase. Even an odd second floor room sticking out over the garage. Near that garage, outside, a slim walkway takes you to the courtyard and front door, and walking in, you'll find the spacious common room. In the living room, not only will you find a fireplace, there's also one of the coolest features here, as the room converts into a screening area with projection screen. The nearby dining room overlooks the yard, and the chef's kitchen boasts granite countertops and stainless steel Viking appliances. While everything, even the tile and hardwood floors are all the same shade of beige, it's safe to say there may have been changes over the last few years. The master suite is said to be massive thanks to listing materials, and it's fitted with everything from a double-sided fireplace to lounge in front of, two walk-in closets, as well as an attached home gym. Another amazing part of this property is the sprawling outdoor area that boasts views over the Santa Monica Mountains. Out back, there's a covered patio space with fire pit, outdoor kitchen, and elsewhere a freeform swimming pool and spa. All in all, Kendrick treated his family to quite the home, I gotta say. Not to mention, it's in one of the most posh and private areas in LA. That being said, where is he even living? Kendrick has long called LA's South Bay region home, more specifically in the upscale seaside city of Manhattan Beach. And after many years of being a renter, in 2019, the rapper set down roots, purchasing a slick brand new house for 9 dollars $7 million. The newly built residence was never publicly listed and it was an off market deal, so interior pictures are slim, but it's not too surprising given how private Kendrick is. The details about the modern home are clear though, and inside it boasts 5,350 square feet with four beds and seven baths. The contemporary abode was built by luxury home builder Powers Development, so based on their designs, we can assume there's a kitchen with appliances worthy of a rap star, a resort style master suite, and a couple wet bars in the house. The exterior of the three level home is decked out in light colored wood, glass, and stone. And while it's not a beachfront spot, it has numerous balconies and water views from the upper levels of the home. There are also features like a three car garage, small front yard with patio, and of course, floor to ceiling walls of glass. Like most of the neighboring properties, which are tightly packed together, there isn't room for a swimming pool or space to install one. However, you are a quick jog away from the sandy beach, so I guess one has to make do with that. Though Kendrick's home is in a pricey and posh neighborhood, like I said, the homes are really packed together. There are a few notable neighbors that love living here too though, with hockey star Ryan Miller next door and Blake Griffin, Maria Sharapova, Zoe Deschanel, and more living in the same area. All right, so I think it's time to bring this house tour to an end. Now we've checked out three of rapper Kendrick Lamar's homes, even though two of them were his investment properties. We saw a glimpse of the modest spot in Eastville he may be renting out, the Calabasas man mansion he bought for his family, and what we know about his modern Manhattan beach spa. After seeing his homes, what did you guys think? Did you have a favorite? I think mine was the Calabasas house because I'm more of a pool girl than a beach girl, but maybe I just need to see more pics of the Manhattan beach home to fall in love with it too. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Kendrick's properties down in the comments. Also, subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. I love reading your comments on there and getting to chat with you guys. We'll link you one of my latest videos. Oh, this is a childhood gem. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I forgot about these pictures. Not looking at that. There's a creepy X there. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tours you want to see next. I'll see you all next time. Bye.